I had so much fun on Saturday that I decided to come back on Sunday. Snakes, birds, turtles, fish, spiders, bees, wasps, butterflies, caterpillars, ants. Oh my god, I've seen so much cool stuff today, so check out this video. It is likely that that cardinal has a nest somewhere in here. And that brightly colored one is the male. And then the female is much more bland and is able to almost camouflage with a brownish orange coloration. But yes, the males are bright red, just like my shirt. It's fun to be outdoors wandering around looking at the beautiful things in nature. Damselflies and dragonflies are in the same family, Odonta, but they have a different way of holding their wings when they're at rest. So a damselfly will rest on a leaf or a twig with its wings folded together over its abdomen, whereas a dragonfly, when it's at rest, will perch on a twig or something else with its wings spread outward. Another ladybug sitting on a leaf. You never know what you're going to find. Some bugs are easier to see because they have dark coloration, like this beetle. This is a click beetle, and it clicked just as I got really close, and it was scared. So they'll basically flick their body parts in half um, and fly away and then they pretend like they're dead but they're not it'll get up and start crawling away eventually but you can see it's pretending like it's dead so that I won't eat it <laughs> little does it know I have no intention of eating a bug all right buddy when you decide that everything is cool get up and go on about your life all right This ladybug is searching for aphids.
more scale insects. It's not just wandering around. Mm. It has a purpose. For all that wandering. Most people don't know that if you just hang out in front of a bush and look at every blade or leaf or twig, you'll, you'll see something kind of cool. For example, right there is a tiny little spider. Right there. What are you doing on my glasses, Ant? <laughs> this is a popular place, especially on the weekend. Lots of families come here with their kids and wander around. Some places you go, they'll even have a little tram that goes around and tells you all about the place. And lots of crows. <laughs> like today sometimes it's nice just to get in the shade and relax for a minute just wandering around looking at flowers and taking their pictures and little videos of them. so many cabbage white butterflies searching for nectar. It's so peaceful and cool to watch. They're just flittering from flower to flower. I mean I see like dozens of them right now.
such a beautiful day. I'm telling you. Tiny toadstools just doing their thing. Yep. Pretty cool. keep my eyes open my ears open and I got lucky just a couple of minutes ago a bunny came within like 10 feet of me so I whipped out my camera and took a few photos and here they are so what'd you think I didn't have time to grab my phone and do a video because that bunny rabbit was nervous it kind of was cornered on a little bridge with people on one side and people on the other me being on the other side and it's like what do I do how do I get across to that field over there with all that tasty grass <laughs> but pretty quickly it figured it out but it was nice seeing a little bunny rabbit You know, I remember being told as a kid in a classroom that leaves are green. But you know, that's not always true. <laughs> Silky smooth. Here's a little secret. I actually threw out my back week a week ago. So today I put ice on it prior to leaving and I brought a back brace and I'm wearing it with two shirts. And the whole reason is because I thought I could get out and wander around as long as I took good care of my back and don't bend, instead squat, go to a kneeling position and try to take care of the back. But an icky back is no excuse not to go outside. We need to get outdoors and just wander around, sweat, exercise, see, hear, smell, taste. You can, as long as you're bringing something. <laughs> For me, it was two oranges. <laughs> but there's no excuse not to get outside. Don't let 
small things keep you from exploring the beauty of this planet. Just make the choice and go. Closer to a plant over there. <laughs> and I tripped on one of these devil's walking sticks. There. So dangerous. Oh my gosh. black rat snake. It's harmless to me. See? Right there. It's a little nervous. So it goes to a safe location amongst the trees and hangs out. Knowing that I'm not going to get inside there if I were a bird or something that wanted to eat it. Of course I don't want to. I just want to point out as you're wandering around, you'll see things. Don't get too close to snakes. Don't try to pick them up. They deserve the same respect that we do. Just like you don't want to be bit, they don't want to be picked up. So if you see something like a snake, look at it, but don't pick it up. warm out here <laughs> but it's a beautiful day I think I've had enough of this of sun today time to just sit in the shade for a few minutes and relax feel the breeze on my skin and just enjoy the beauty in front of me and behind me been out here for a few hours and I'm about ready to wrap up my visit for today. First I think I'll go see the beehives and see how the honeybees are doing. Can you hear the buzzing? They're flying all around. I don't seem to care that I'm here though. I'm really because I'm not a flower. Even though I have on a bright red shirt. <laughs> side of this fence. Whew. 
almost three and a half hours wandering around. That's pretty good. Took a lot of photos and a lot of videos of wildlife. So, there you go. What's up, dude? <laughs> was fun. Hey little buddy, hey there. Let's crack a lack in little dog. <laughs> what are you doing buddy? I <laughs> see that tail wagon. <laughs> Somebody woke you up. That was me. That's right little buddy. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs>